Hello guys, welcome to Merch Bands King. So as you can see, today we are at a very special location. We are at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. And we have an exclusive tour around the Mercedes-Benz Museum. And that's because nobody is around, it is actually closed. And bear with me because I will tell you stuff I didn't even know about Mercedes-Benz. So next to me I have multiple colors of the Mercedes-Benz G-Class and that's because we celebrate the 40 years of the G-Class. So tell me guys in the comment section below which color would you choose? There are in total 35 colors. So let's go to the very first car ever built. So this is what one horsepower looks like. And now we will have a look at the first car in the world, which was 0.75 horsepower. The manufacturer is Carl Benz. And that's his machine right here, invented in 1886. Let's go for it. You have to actually spin the wheel to start it. And that is the machine of Gottlieb Daimler. They actually never met each other, but Daimler was the one who invented the three-pointed star and he was responsible for it. So he wanted to motorize the car for land, the boat for the sea and the plane for the air. So here we are at the heart of Mercedes-Benz. Look at the cars. It started with the Austrian racer who was a diplomat and he raced in these large vehicles and he came with the idea why not have a car which is only for the driver, a real sports car. And that's when he contacted Daimler and they built a real sports car for him and for the races he used the name Mercedes which is his daughter, and that name became famous for all the wins. This is actually the first ever Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Look at how huge it is. And you can already see how it nowadays still has the same characteristics. You have the rear for the VIP passengers and the partition wall, and the chauffeur driving around. And that is actually the first sports car which the Austrian diplomat received from Daimler and Maybach. And you can see it is really focused on the driver. The center of gravity is also very low. So a real sports car was born. And speaking of design guys, just check this out. This car is from 1936. Just look at the curves from this side with the large hood and the red accents. It is the 500K, which is the most expensive one that you could buy in that time. Just check out the logo in the front. It is all three combined. Mercedes, Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler. guys which car is this leave it in the comment section below and i would suggest to watch the road trip video at mercedes-benz museum let's continue hello guys this is mercedes-benz king together with Maddy from Automotor und Sport and here we are at GP Zoot heading over to Mercedes-Benz Museum so let's hit the road
This is the Mercedes 300 SLR. And not that Mercedes-Benz only invent the car itself in the world. They also made this the most expensive car. It is currently valued at 150 million euros. So 1964, this is actually a very funny moment. You see the cables going from this car to the other. So while driving, they actually try to monitor what's going on in the car. From tire pressure to electronic stuff and the engine, of course. And the engineers and data scientists would actually sit here, monitor the electronics. This all while driving. Hello guys, welcome to Merz Benz King. So as you can see today I am at Spa the racetrack with this classic Mercedes Benz from 1955. So in this video I will show you the complete exterior interior and you will take it for a drive on the racetrack with these cars. Let's check out the exterior and I will show you some of the neat features. This being the W180 and 220A means it has an extended wheelbase by 170 millimeters. That means it has 10 centimeters more legroom in the back seats. And that's all because it has an inline six cylinder engine. You also have the Ponton, which is a little bit smaller and looks like a cute dog. Driving the classic Mercedes-Benz really gives you a different feeling. And I will show you that later on in the driving minutes. You can already see the 509 emblem on the backside and the cute dog which nods at every bump. Amazing! So this Mercedes-Benz was actually the first E-Class to arrive. After the World War, it was the first to have the uni body. So this is connected to the chassis of the car. It weighs around 1300 kilograms and it has 85 horsepower. In 1956, Mercedes-Benz has made three cars for the Mille Miglia racetrack and it looks exactly like this one. The design, it really suits the Ponton name. Actually, in the Netherlands, it is called bolhut, which means a hat with a curve. And in Indonesia, it is called a potato. But from the side, you can see that really the design of Mercedes-Benz, it has always been in the DNA. You can open the door with a handle and there is a button that you have to press. And of course, you remember this from my G-Class videos. And now you know where it's from, from the classic Mercedes-Benz. Even the sound of the door closing. So I have the key right here. Usually it has only two keys, but in the past 50 years, they changed the keys quite a lot. So let's insert it. The handbrake, it's in neutral. And let's press the button to start. Oop. Nice. The sound is amazing. I will put it in the first gear. Release the handbrake. And we are ready to go and drive on the racetrack. Let's see how it is. I think those guys aren't used to a car like this on the racetrack. So this is actually 
the curve where Mika Henneken overtook two Formula One players. And we barely managed to get up the cliff. We are taking the corners with Stel. It's not regular for a ponton because it has a straight pipe with no mufflers. As you can hear. <laughs> Great experience. So that's the finish line guys. Here we go. Reaching the top speed. seconds <laughs> for a seven kilometer racer so guys I hope you like this video with the ponton and I will definitely see you guys next time because check out the road trip video with the ponton all the way to Stuttgart Museum <laughs> <laughs>